All right, guys, what's going on? This is War 5 of Season 42, and today LVT is facing GT40. I think that we were the last two alliances that hadn't lost yet this season, and LVT has been playing really well. We had a rough first war, um, a really strong war is like 2, 3, and 4. Um, oh, they banned the two science champs and uh, Tigra. So... It's kind of interesting. We had access to Ghost, but we also don't have like a ton of Ghost players. Um, we have more Tiger players than we have Ghost players, and it hurts Kitty. So I think that those are good bands, especially for us and for their defense. They did a good job setting up their defense for those bands. Um, but yeah, so this first fight here is just going to be a crossbones. Um, this fight is not a big deal at all. Omega Red can just destroy this fight. He can destroy any fight here unless it's like a robot. Honestly, I think he can probably destroy any fight on the map as long as it's not a robot, but um, yeah, this crossbones is going to be super easy. I'm just using a regen boost for my first couple fights here. Um, next fight is going to be a dragon man. He is pretty much always placed here um, just because you don't want to knock him down so the fight gets a little bit long. And with, like, Mystic Dispersion and stuff, you know, like, baiting out a bunch of special attacks, not being able to throw your own to speed up the fight, um, it can get a little bit dangerous. However, um, I don't think that this person placed with Mystic Dispersion, and I'm not sure why. Um, it's possible that maybe they placed, like, another Mystic Defender that they didn't want to have MD. Um... Or it could have just been a mistake. I'm really not sure. At first, I thought I was just power burning him, like the equivalent of MD5, but I don't think I was. Like, I really don't think that he was gaining power from Mystic Dispersion. I've taken this fight a few times before, um, sometimes this season. And yeah, if he's running Mystic Dispersion, it's very low. So, just going to hit him a bunch with Omega Sentinel. Again, super straightforward. You can bait special one or special two. It really doesn't matter. And yeah, he's just gonna go down. Not a whole lot to say here. Probably should have sped this fight up. So this war started out pretty strong like when i was taking these fights i think that we were tied like one to one with a similar number of fights taken but spoiler alert we um kind of imploded a little bit as an alliance at the end not sure what happened um this fight is just white magneto i'm gonna take it with omega sentinel um but you know you could also take him with Nimrod, you could take him with um, I Doom, he's not metal. You could take him with America Chavez and just reverse all of the like power gain from his prowess. Um, lots of options for this fight. Very, very easy. And Omega Sentinel is so tanky, she can just take all of this on the block. And she has a synergy with Omega Red, so when I throw my special two, I'm going to be throwing some armor breaks on him. And yeah, fight's over. Next fight is going to be this Kate Bishop. Um, I don't really understand why she's here. Because you don't... You want to play her stun immune anyway, unless you have, like, a guidance. And Apocalypse would just... This would be a good spot to get, like, a... Um, like, a, um... What is it called? Disorient immunity on your Apocalypse. But I thought about taking this with Omega Red... Decided that Omega Sentinel was probably a little bit safer after I talked to Taters, just in case I, like, you know, block a special or something, or she gets a bunch of prowess. I just, I want to be able to, um, to get rid of those. So, yeah, super straightforward fight. Um, she's going to get a little bit stingy with the special one. Colossus would be a great option here also. Um, just player stun immune. That's the only thing that really matters. Unless you're using Apocalypse, of course. So I'm gonna get kind of cornered. Her heavy attack, if you're taking her and you're trying to fight her stun immune, um, her heavy attack looks like you would have to dash back twice, but you only have to dash back once. And if you do dash back twice, there's a risk that you are going to be late punishing. So... 
Yeah, that's why I don't punish if I dash back twice. Like right here, I dash back twice, so I didn't punish. And then here, I'm just going to throw my special two and end the fight. So, um, not a bad fight at all. My next two fights, however, are going to be Mystic Defenders that, um, you know, obviously... So I would take this long shot regardless, but I'm a little bit nervous because this is a rank 5 long shot. Um, and Omega Red and Apocalypse, neither of them bypass, um, like, long shot on the Snowed because he has 300% ability accuracy. And Omega Red and Apocalypse only lower, like, Purify ability accuracy. Omega Red more so than Apocalypse, because I think it's like 10% per Spore. I don't remember if it stops. I don't remember if it stops at 10, but it can either go up to 100 or 300. I don't remember. 300 with 30 Spores. Um, but yeah, so Apocalypse, you know, I, I can't bypass Conflictor here. So I have a White Magneto, and my plan was just to kind of melt him with my Spores. But he was throwing his special ones a bunch. I need to save for my special three in case I push his power too high. So I can't throw my special two to get more. And I also didn't take dexterity off for this fight. So he's not really wanting to throw the special one. I'm just going to push him to special two and throw my special three to try to power drain him a little bit. But I think he still ends up at a special two after this. I've taken this fight before. This is probably like the worst I've ever done. Um, probably just nerves, because again, it was really close at this point. So yeah, he's still at the special 2, that's fine, I'm just gonna block it. Um, you can block his special 2 as long as he doesn't have, like, Pure of Heart active, and yeah, I mean, none of this really matters, he's about to go down. Um, and also, normally, I would dash in after the first part of his special 1 so that I could punish it, but... I just wasn't thinking, I was nervous. And then uh, my next fight here is going to be this Mangog. So this is obviously normally a Spider-Man 2099 fight, um, or a Scorpion fight, or like, you know, She-Hulk would obviously work, Reed could work, but, um, and then Doom can work, but I've seen before where Mangog will just throw his special two into Doom's block, and then, you know, it's Doom takes a little bit longer than Omega Red. So here I have Reed debuffs. I'm going to lose them. Um, but you can see they're actually helping quite a bit. And my plan here is to be passive when he's under two bars of power. And then be aggressive when he's over two just to push him to special three. So right here, um, I should have tried to parry to keep my Reed debuffs, but I didn't. Um, so I end up losing all of them. And then I don't want him to throw another special one. So here he's at a special 2 now, so I'm just going to use MD to push him over 3 bars. And yeah, this fight is essentially over. Um, I am going to start taking quite a bit of block damage, which is fine. But um, yeah, I mean Omega Red just destroys this fight. I would feel 100% confident taking it again, um, you know, with the same band. So. Um, one, one hit of the Invuln gone, and you can see now he's just hitting super hard through the block. But again, I don't really care. I'm just going to finish him here, throw my special three, and fight's over. So, that was it for my war. Um, we did end up losing this war. The war's not quite over yet, so I don't have, like, the, like, the final score. Um, but I'll just post it from, like, in-game, because both alliances have finished 150 fights. But yeah, so I was a little bit stressed out about those last two fights. I was kind of, like, talking about it all day. Um, but yeah, uh, Wes is going to come in here and, and take that boss here in a second. And yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty much it. So my battle group got a donut, third donut in a row, which is freaking crazy. Um, I don't think that I've ever had that happen before, like in any group I've been in. I mean, just such a great group of people. Like shout out to every single one of them. Quite a few of them post war videos. Um, Wes posts them, posts them, Oakley posts them, TJ posts them sometimes when he has time. I'm sure there are other people. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just doing such a good job as a group. We're working so well together. Um, 
you know, Pete came in and took a bunch of like really, really tough fights with Ghost. Um, you know, just everyone played so well. There were just a few hiccups, um, like in the Alliance as a whole, but either way, good word of these guys, they, you know, did great, of course. And yeah, I mean, we came into this kind of knowing what the outcome was going to be in advance, but wanted to give it our best shot. So I just want to you know, just say again how much I appreciate my battle group for stepping up and, and, you know, pulling off a, you know, what could have been kind of a catastrophic plan because of the bands. Um, everyone came together and did a great job. So, all right. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.